Hello guys, welcome back to ETAPS video tutorials. In this video tutorial, we will go through an analysis of multi-story frame. So let me just start by going into file, selecting new model. And I'll use my default settings, I'll select OK. Now coming to this grid tab, I'll say number of grid lines in X direction, let's say 4 should be good and number of grid lines in y direction should be I just need one because I'm just doing multi-story frame and let's say spacing between grids I'll say 12 or I can say 15 feet in y direction it doesn't matter number of stories will be 4 typical story height 10 feet bottom story height will be 10 feet bottom story height is nothing but the first story height which will have nothing but ground to first floor that being done you need to make sure that you selected grid and then you had the this thing centered because you might you will have different options for the different uh, structured objects you have over here you select ok now so now as you can see this is x y now let's go to x z You can uh, you can go into options all right let me just um, so since we have one as our grid line let me just go to elevation and say yeah oh from this side i got elevations let me just go here and select one so there you go there is your elevation now before doing anything i'll just go and define my material properties um, Concrete 4000. Let's add new material of 5000 psi over here. Select OK. Yeah, that is good. 150 pounds per feet cube. That's good. This gets calculated. I mean, you can calculate it. That's some formula 57000 to the power. Uh, I don't remember exactly, but I'll tell you in the next video tutorial, anyways. All right, so leave that be for now. Uh, we are not gonna be doing any design for now, or or we can do the design. Let's just check it out. Yeah, select OK, select OK. Now let's go to define section properties, frame sections. So first, I'll say add new property. I'll say concrete. Um, rectangular I'll define my sizes I'll say this as column 36 by 24 inches let's make it 24 by 24 and this is column make sure you selected column Rectangular is fine. Layer cover 1.5 inches good. Number nine, number nine confinement bars nothing but stirrups. Number four, select OK. Select OK. Now we have a column over there. Add new property. It's gonna be your beam. Eighteen by twenty-four. Actually, yeah, 
Yeah. All right. Uh, I need this as five thousand, and I'll say beam. I need I need to modify my column for five thousand psi. I'll say modify show rebar. Select M three design only. Select OK, select OK. Now go to column, modify, show property, select 5000 PSI, select OK, select OK. Now go to define load cases. We have dead and live, that is good. Next, go to load combinations, add default design combos i'll say concrete frame design select ok let's see what do we have for design combos number two 1.2 plus 1.6 which is what i wanted and select ok now i'll draw my columns i'll make sure that this is selected as column and now I'll just have this replicated in the next direction I'll say how much I had 15 feet right um, I need three number select apply so as you can see they have been already applied select ok next thing is for beams Okay, and now I'll just select this three and go to edit and duplicate those in Z direction. I selected all right I just select those numbers I go to edit I say replicate in story I select now story 3 and story 4 and I select ok so now I will have the numbers over there as you can see now once I'm done with that what I'll do is I'll just select my bottom nodes and I'll assign joints since I want to transfer movements to the footings I'll use fixed connection nothing but fixed fixed joints select ok next thing we'll do is we'll apply some uniformly distributed loads on the beams I 
I'll set dead load as 0 point now I need the unit sim keep feed 0 0.025 I'm my dead load nothing but 25 pounds per feed uh, I'll say replace existing loads is fine select okay. apply next will be my live load 0 0.040 and you are replace existing load select apply oh sorry i need to select the members before assigning it now select ok so as you can see it has been assigned now if you want you can add more loads on it and check the design for it but for now i'm just gonna leave this loads and I'm gonna do run analysis I need to save this multi-story frame analysis so right now over here you have your deformed shape um which says let's see our deformed shape tab let's say combination select combination number two draw contours displacement in which direction do we need let's say uz and select apply so now uh, we have our value uz 0 0.005 inches so as you can see in here translational displacement units are in inches here displacement inches general displacement everything is in inches you can change it if you want cancel select close this next we will see uh, shear stresses and moments moment 3 3 show value set controlling stations on diagram I'll select frames I'll make sure I select my combo 1.2 dead plus 1.6 live I'll select apply and it is applied on this because I selected that window so that is how it looks you have that values and you can even see the shear the same way oh yeah that's over here anyways again going for axial force select apply so that is how you see your axial force now what do we have else left so reactions as z select apply so you have that reactions being applied for the total load that is coming on to the beams so guys that is how you do the analysis and let's do concrete frame design all right so let's say this this doesn't look good 
but this is fine like if you have this uh, ratios less than one then you are good to go let me save beam column capacity ratios so as you can see the columns are not good and these are your rebar percentages right close this let's see verify and verify all members passed it says no, all the members has passed so anyways guys uh, we'll go into the detailing of the rebar and other stuff in the coming video tutorials this was this video was just meant for the uh, analysis of the multi-story frame uh, do not include the design part which will go in depth in the next video tutorials anyways thank you guys for watching the video uh, if you have any questions please comment below